Inside of the functions.js, we start with document.ready. I want to execute the function. Okay, first we're going to check if item with the class select all has been found with all on the page. Length is more than zero. Then let's copy the name of the element. On click, we want to execute the function. First thing we need to do, we need to get the ID attribute, create the variable and assign this to it. So this attribute ID, as you may remember if we open actually index.php, our select all button has ID items. We need to get this attribute, uh, the name of this attribute in order to know, to, to find out which set of checkboxes should we trigger, should we target basically. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to check if this dot has class, in other words, if our select all paragraph has also the class called selected, it won't have it by default when the page loads. Else, we do something else. So if it has class selected, then we're going to trigger the class. So dot in between the brackets plus the name of the class, which is the ID name of our trigger. Find input. So find all inputs inside inside of our um, inside of our items div and make sure that the attribute checked is set to false in other words remove checked attribute then this remove class selected and this html change to select all, which will be there obviously by default. So this will happen once we clicked uh, the first time on the button. Now if we copy all these lines and paste it inside of the else statement. Now checked we want to be true, so when you, you click on the select all button we want all checkboxes to be uh, checked, so attribute checked should be set to true, and then we want to add class selected, so the next time when we click this statement will be executed because it will have this class selected. Okay, and obviously we want to change the uh, the label to D select all. Now after all this, let's type return false to make sure that the page doesn't jump or anything like that. Okay, I think we've got everything in place. Now if we go back to our browser, refresh the page, click on the select all button, you can see all items have been selected, label has changed to deselect all, if we use fireback and look at this item, you can see the class selected has been added. Now if we click again on this button, button changes to select all, class selected has been removed and all items have been unchecked. So it seems to be working fine. That's everything in this video. Hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll speak to you uh, in the next series.